Now that you know how to identify if a polynomial is a difference of two squares or not, you are now ready to factor this difference of two squares. So to factor them out, you just have to write the product of the sum and difference of the two expressions being squared. So given this general form of a DTS, a squared minus b squared, the factors of this would be the product, so meaning there would be two quantities of addition and subtraction as the operations involved. So this would be the product of the sum and difference of two squares. So what would be the terms that would be placed here? After getting the product of the sum and difference, next is you have to get the square roots of each of the terms. Looking at the first term, which is a squared, the square root of this is a. So therefore, that would be placed as the first term for the two quantities being multiplied together. And then looking at the second term, b squared, the square root of this is b. And that would be the second term for each of the quantities being multiplied together. And that's it. These are the factors of a squared minus b squared. Now, the operation involved here can be subtraction first or addition first. Either way, as long as it has one addition and one subtraction. So let us try these examples. First is m squared minus 16. So m squared can actually be expressed as m raised to 2. And then to get the square root of 16, that can be expressed as 4 raised to 2. So actually, this expression here is just another representation of m squared minus 16. So to easily get the factors of this, you just have to get the product of the sum and difference of the square roots. The square roots are these terms here written inside the parentheses. So that would be m in the first terms and 4 in the second terms. So therefore, the factors of m squared minus 16 is the quantity of m plus 4 times the quantity of m minus 4. Second example, 361 minus r raised to 6. So we're going to rewrite it first. 361 can be rewritten as 19 squared, so meaning 19 is the square root of 361. Next is r raised to 6. So the square root of r raised to 6 is r cubed. And then the operation involved is subtraction. So then again, this expression here is just another way of representing 361 minus r raised to 6. But this is an easier way on how to get the product of the sum and difference of two squares because you just have to look at these numbers inside the parentheses. So in that case, the factors of 361 minus r raised to 6 is the quantity of 19 plus r cubed times the quantity of 19 minus r cubed. And again, the quantities can be rearranged in such a way that subtraction comes first either way as long as there would be one addition and one subtraction involved. Now, open again your Schoology and this time, try exercise 1.13 under day 5 of cycle 1 and try to factor each of this expression completely.